Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to make negative sentences. But first, we need to talk a bit about negative verbs. What is a negative verb? Well, in English, to make a sentence negative, all you have to do usually is attach not before the verb. So you can take the sentence, I like kimchi, and make it negative, I do not like kimchi. Or, I will play outside could become, I will not play outside. In Korean, however, to make a sentence negative, we'll need to change the verb. For most verbs, we only need to add one small piece of grammar. But for a few verbs, we will need to use a separate verb, and we'll learn these first. For example, ida, to be, can become to not be, anida. So let's first talk about anida, and anida is a descriptive verb that means to not be. And it's the opposite of ida, meaning to be, but it's used a little bit differently. To use it, you're going to want to attach the subject marker after whatever noun it's describing, whatever noun is not. And the verb anida will conjugate normally, just like any other verb in any tense, except the present tense informal form, where it will conjugate to anieyo. This is similar to how ida can become ieyo. In the past tense, though, Anida will just conjugate normally to anio soyo. So here are some example sentences. Chonen pilieyo. I am Billy. Chonen piliga anieyo. I am not Billy. Kugon uri koyangi ga anio soyo. That wasn't my cat. Igon munje ga anil koyo. This won't be a problem. The next negative verb that we're going to look at is morda, which means to not know. And it's the opposite of the verb arda, to know. Here are some example sentences. Chonen arayo. I know. Billy shiru aseyo? Do you know Billy? Chonen Billy shiru mollayo. I do not know Billy. Uri sansengnim do our teacher also doesn't know Billy. The next negative verb we're going to look at is opta, which is a descriptive verb and it means to not exist. Opta is the opposite of ita, to exist. Note that both ita and opta are descriptive verbs and therefore cannot use the object marker. Here are some examples. Oldi isoyo? Where is Billy? Billy shinen chigum pangmulguane opsoyo. Billy is not at the museum now. Uri chibe pizaga opsoyo. There is no pizza at our house. Te pange chimdega opsosoyo. There wasn't a bed in my room. Now that we've learned the most common negative verbs, let's talk about how to turn any other verb negative. You're going to do that with the verb ending ji an ta. So here's how you use that. First, take a verb stem and attach ji an ta, and then conjugate it. This will become in the present tense informal form ji anayo. Here are some examples. Pop ji anayo. It's not hot. As in, the weather is not hot. I also do not like milk. Billy will not go to the swimming pool. I do not want to go to the bathroom now. Some verbs can also become negative just by attaching an. And to do that, all you do is you'll attach an before a verb and then conjugate it normally. We'll talk about which verbs can and can't use this in a second, but first, here are just a few examples. An chuoyo. It's not cold, as in the weather is not cold. Neil hesae an garkoyo. I won't go to the company tomorrow. 저는 감자튀김을 안 좋아해요. I don't like french fries. 
아침을 아직 안 먹었어요. I did not eat breakfast yet. Or I still didn't eat breakfast. Note that 아침 literally means morning, but it can also be used to mean breakfast. The same applies for 점심, the afternoon, which can also be used to mean lunch, and 저녁, meaning evening, which can be used to mean dinner. So let's talk about when you can just use an to make a verb negative. There are a few tips to know whether a verb can or can't use an. The first one is, if you've seen a verb use an before it, then it can use an. The second tip, if the verb only has two syllables, it can use an. For example, 살다, to live, 가다, to go, 오다, to come, 하다, to do, 먹다, to eat, 덥다, to be hot, or 춥다, to be cold, 벌다, to earn, 팔다, to sell, 사다, to buy, and many others. Also, if the verb does not end with 하다, it can probably use 안 before it to make it negative. For example, 가르치다, to teach, 배우다, to learn, 괜찮다, to be okay or fine, 도와주다, to help, 어렵다, to be difficult, 부럽다, to be jealous, 예쁘다, to be pretty, and 보내다, to send. And last but not least, this tip might take a bit of practice to get used to, but anytime there's a verb that ends with hada, but hada can be separated from that verb, you can use an before the verb hada. Now, every time this is possible, I have marked it with the object marker in parentheses. So here's an example. 공부하다, to study, could become 공부 안 하다, to not study. This is because hada can be separated from kongbu, as I've noted by putting the object marker in parentheses after these sort of verbs that can be separated. However, this could not become an kongbu hada. Also, any descriptive verb can use an. This is because they cannot be separated, even if they end with hada. So we've learned about chi an ta as well as an. Well, what if a verb can use both? You can use either. Feel free to use chi an ta or an if you know that a verb can use one or the other. But when in doubt, if you're not sure how to change a verb into its negative form, if you're not sure if it can use an, just use the ending chi an ta. Here's an example though of how you can use either. You could say, 저는 피자를 좋아하지 않아요. I don't like pizza. Or you could just say, 저는 피자를 안 좋아해요. And either is fine. Now, there's something I need to tell you about answering questions with yes and no, because sometimes 네, yes, can actually mean 아니요, no, in Korean, when using a negative verb. For example, here's a regular question. 김치를 좋아해요? Do you like kimchi? Well, you can answer to that. 네, I like it. Yes, I like kimchi. But if someone were to ask you, 김치를 좋아하지 않아요? Do you not like kimchi or don't you like kimchi? If you were to reply with 네, that actually means no, I do not like kimchi because 네 is agreeing with what they said. 김치를 좋아하지 않아요. I do not like kimchi. So instead, to answer a negative question, just say 아니요. 좋아해요. No, I like it. Or even better, to avoid any confusion when answering these sort of negative questions, simply answer with a full sentence instead of just using one word. Now, there's one more thing that we need to talk about, and that is some adverbs are negative adverbs, meaning that they're only used in negative sentences. There are several of these, but here are two of the most common ones that you'll find. The first one is 별로. 별로 means not very or not a lot, and it's the opposite of saying very or a lot. And since this is a negative adverb, it must be used in a negative sentence. So you could say, 별로 좋아하지 않아요. I don't like it very much. Or, 저는 한국어를 별로 잘할 수 없어요. I can't speak Korean very well. Next we have, 전혀, 
at all. And this is the opposite of saying completely or absolutely. 저는 일본어를 전혀 몰라요. I don't know Japanese at all. 빌리 씨를 전혀 만나고 싶지 않아요. I don't want to meet Billy at all. So let's take everything that we've learned and let's do a conversation practice between two people, Jimin and Mangi. First, Jimin says, 요즘은 수학 공부를 안 해요? Lately, do you not study math? 아니요, 자주 공부해요. No, I study often. 재밌어요? Is it entertaining or is it fun? 아니요, no. 별로 재미가 없어요. It's not very entertaining. 왜요? Why? 너무 어려워요? Is it too difficult? 어렵지 않지만 시간이 없어요. It's not difficult, but there is no time or I don't have time. 너무 바빠요. I'm too busy. 아, 안 어려워요? It's not difficult? 네, 안 어렵지만 재밌지 않아요. Yes, it's not difficult, but it's not entertaining or it's not fun. 요즘은 수학 공부를 안 해요? 아니요, 자주 공부해요. 재미있어요? 아니요, 별로 재미가 없어요. 왜요? 너무 어려워요? 어렵지 않지만 시간이 없어요. 너무 바빠요. 아, 안 어려워요? 네, 안 어렵지만 재미있지 않아요. All right, before we go, I have a couple more notes. And the first is that the verb anida is typically used with the subject marker e or ka, but you might from time to time also see it used with the topic marker un or nun, or even with no marker whatsoever. For example, you could have this sentence, 저는 엄마가 아니에요. I am not a mom. Or just, 저는 엄마 아니에요. I am not a mom. Same thing. Also, note that the phrase 아니요, meaning no, came from the verb anida as well, but this is not a regular conjugation of it that you'll find otherwise. So you can just learn it as 아니요 by itself. All right, so we've covered a lot of things related to negative sentences in this lesson, such as negative verbs, or how to make negative verbs, and which forms to use, as well as negative adverbs, and more. So practice everything that we've done today, and I'll see you guys again in the next lesson. 그럼 다음에 또 봐!